Hey guys, so I'm now in entering section two, which is reconstructed historical interiors. And um, there are some tapestries, I believe 17th century. Um, there are some from Italy, some from France, um, and some made here. So obviously like a lot of the great societies of that period, they were importing artisans from uh, probably predominantly Italy, Italy and France. A little bit from Hungary, uh, from what I understand. And we start to see some of the splendor. It's just, look at the ceiling. This was no tiny, this was no tiny society, no tiny duchy. The exhibition on reconstructed interiors continues on the third floor of the palace of the Grand Dukes, which is one floor above you. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Yes. Four four. Four four. Okay. Yes. yes. At you. A Renaissance audience hall. The function of this Renaissance-style hall is ceremonial. Various audiences used to take place here. During audiences, messengers, accompanied by Lithuanian officials introduced themselves to the Grand Duke of Lithuania, brought greetings from their rulers, presented official diplomatic documents and presents. Knowing the rank of the frequent visitors, we can only imagine how it used to happen. Among them were the messengers of the Apostolic See, the Holy Roman Empire, Hungary, Czechia, the Ottoman Empire, Moldovia, Venice, Ferrara and other Italian duchies, also rulers and heirs to the throne. The Duke of Prussia, Albrecht Ohanzelern, the Prince of Sweden, John III Vasa, the Prince Valdemar Christian, the son of King Christian IV of Denmark and others. Okay. I have no idea. The second is enough to come back. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Thank you, thank you. Mm. Oh, cool harpsichord. Let's see. Uh, After, okay. Or five. Tapestry with the coat of arms of the Grand Duke of Lithuania, Sigismund August. Uh, 46. The third statute of Lithuania. The three of the 16th century codified statutes of Lithuania are greatly important cultural monuments of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania. The statute book, which was original in the whole of Europe, was formed based on court practice, the Roman and customary law, and the ruler's privileges. The Renaissance Chancellery Room displays the edition of the third statute of Lithuania. The first statute of Lithuania was approved in 1529. The second, supplemented, Statute of Lithuania in 1566. Both of these first legal codes were not printed, 
and spread only in the form of copies. The third statute of Lithuania, printed in 1588 for the first time, was in the Ruthenian language, which was the official language of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania Ruthenian. of that time. The third statute highlights the sovereignty of the Grand Duchy of Lithuania and discusses the main public legal norms. All three statutes of Lithuania were edited and approved at the palace of the Grand Dukes of Lithuania in Vilnius. The third statute of Lithuania was later edited and supplemented under the supervision of the Chancellors of Lithuania. Get some information. Italian Baroque Rulers Room. Based on written sources from the beginning of the 17th century, it is believed that this hall was Lithuanian Grand Duke and Polish King Sigismund Vasa's favorite room, as it was next to the Chapel of St. Casimir that he had started to build. The decor of the interior of the hall reflects the style of early Baroque, while the pieces of applied and fine arts create an impression of an early 17th century Italian office. The Italian Baroque room of the ruler exhibits one of the most interesting Baroque paintings of the museum, Lodovisi Concert by the famous Italian artist Leonello Spada. The canvas reflects the traditions of musical culture that manifested in this palace in the early 17th century. my boy again. So I think that was 49. Now I think I can go back. So the Italian Baroque room. say if it ain't baroque don't fix it second half of the 12th century instrument. The single range was C through C3. That doesn't sound like a, like a big range. Thank you. 
Okay, so now we do 50. The exhibition on reconstructed interiors continues hey on guys. the third floor of the Palace of the Grand Dukes, which is one floor above you. That lady's entering right now. Or no. Do skip the entrance. Okay, thank you. I start there? Yes. Okay. Yes. Uh, first, uh, I recommend to go on observation tower oh. and then come back here. Okay. Observation tower. It's a good view. There's the Three Crosses Monument. Hello, Three Crosses. And then Becca Show, which I had in an earlier video. Want to see that up close? This is super cool. And I, lo I love everything about, <laughs> about Vilnius.
let's get this done. Make it fast. sweating, breathing in his mask. It's quite air conditioned in here. Did I do 53? Tapestry, Priam facing the city of Troy. From the set, the story of the Trojan War. The antechamber decor and artistic valuables often used to reflect a certain iconographic theme and also had to manifest the status and power of the state. The iconographic theme of the first antechamber is related to warfare. Thus, aside from the portraits of the famous Lithuanian military leaders, it also exhibits the early 17th century tapestry, Priam facing the city of Troy telling the story of Troy's defeat from Virgil's Aeneid. If you'd like to hear which ancient heroes are depicted on this tapestry, enter the numbers 2, 5, 3 into your audio guide. That'll be for another day. I just want to catch the ceilings again. Always forget to look up sometimes. You miss the good stuff. Well, it looks like we've upgraded to a slightly larger harpsichord. <laughs>
welcome to an audience with the Grand Duke of Lithuania. To the most important hall of the state ceremonial chambers and of the whole palace. Exactly in such a hall, the Grand Dukes of Lithuania, the kings of Poland and Sweden from the Vasa dynasty, used to solemnly accept their most honorable guests in the early 17th century. The reconstructed interior decor of the throne room reflects the style of the early Baroque. The French Borg room. I hope that the camera is picking up on um, picking up some of the stuff in the darker lighting sessions. I beat it for this one so I will check out with y'all and meet you up on the third section. Ciao.